Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I am Mickey Srasvi, your Academy and Judy Pagemaker. So on 1000 MCQ series, this is the 16th video. I have already uploaded 15th video learners and if you are interested on those videos, so you can get the link that is given in description or you can message me on my WhatsApp number. I will provide you all the links. Now learners, be energetic and be ready to face this upcoming exam you can also join my paid courses at an academy the learning application you can get my classes on three places an academy the learning application on this youtube channel literature lovers and an academy live in ta ugc net channel so that is also a youtube channel let us do not forget to use my referral code do not forget to follow me on an, on an academy the learning application because learners every day you are going to get something interesting and I'm going to make English literature more interesting. Never learners, never anyone done this kind of task. So I am doing that. Now see learners, practice session 16. See the very first question. This is the first question. Question one. So this is who said talent is an adornment? An adornment is also a concealment. So learners, T.S. Eliot, Camus, Nietzsche, or head curve. So learners, you have these four options. Do not forget to select the right one. Please. So now see, see the correct answer on Joey's screen. So it's Nietzsche. So learners, Nietzsche, he was a German philosopher. From where he was? So learners, he was from Germany and he was a German philosopher and he is well known for his good and evil kind of writing, making difference between the both. And he was also responsible for the end of religion in modern society and the concept of superhero. So who is he? Nietzsche, a German philosopher. Do not forget learners and see that his talent is an adornment. So this is the statement by Nietzsche. Now see the next one question that is on your screen. Arnold Edwin, let us you can say Edwin Arnold, is known from his translation of oriental classics such as the Bhagavad Gita, Geet Govind, the Light of Asia or all the above. So learners do not forget to select right one. And I hope learners you are enjoying, enjoying all these videos. Okay, so see the correct answer on your screen. So this is the correct answer. You can see all the above. Edwin Arnold, he is known for his oriental translations. He has translated the Bhagavad Gita, Geet Govind, the Light of Asia and Hitopadesa. Let us, these all are the work translated by Edwin Arnold. One more thing. So let us see the Light of Asia. So this is the work that is based on and, and let us, you can say, Indian lesson, Gautam Buddha, a great supporter of non-violence, Gautam Buddha. And let us, yes, on this particular work, he is going to explore Gautam Buddha as the light of Asia. And who is he? Edwin Arnold. See, let us, next one. Arnold, as a prose writer, is a no, just, uh, sorry. Arnold as a prose writer is known for his. So let us see lecture on translating Homer, culture and anarchy, friendship and then you have all the ever. So out of these four options, select one please. Going to show you correct answer on your screen. So let us, here is the correct answer. It's all the ever. Let us, these all are the prose work by Matthew Arnold. A great Victorian poet. So let us see these are the prose work. Lecture on translating Homer. Then culture and anarchy. Friendship, Gala and, and then let us see essays in criticism. These all are the work by Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold is famous for two kinds of writing. Poetry and criticism. So let us on poetry you can see he has written wonderful poems. Dog Beach is there. Thyrasis, Rugby Chapel, then Memorial Verses, 
So let us, these are the famous poem and then is called a gypsy. So these all are the famous poem and best poem by Matthew Nall. See the next one question. So this is the next one. Isaac Ashivo, Russian born American science fiction writer. His outstanding work is I Robot. Was written in 1950 and the foundation a trilogy was written 1951 to 53. Which of the following is not part of foundation trilogy? So let us see foundation, foundation and empire, last foundation, second foundation. So do select the right one, please. So here is the right answer on your screen. So this is the right answer. It's the last foundation. Let us a trilogy that always contains three works. In your previous UGC net exam that was held in 2019, December 2019. So there was a question based on trilogy. And this was Orestia trilogy. Yes, let us see Orestia trilogy. Orestia trilogy. So let us please do mention all three works related to Austria trilogy on comment box. Then see let us, these all are the work by Isaac Ashimo. I robot, so that was appeared in 1950, foundation 51, second foundation 1953, foundation and empire, so let us see, yes, you can see 1952. So 1951 to 53, let us, you can see, this was the question in your UG Senate exam. The Caves of Steel, 1953, Dr. Dante, then Make the Sun, foundation age, then prelude to, to foundation, foundation and art, forward the foundation. Gods themselves complete the stories, robots, uh, sorry, robots and empire, tables in the sky, the robots of dawn. So these all are the work by Isaac Oshimu, a science fiction writer, Solonesius, Russian born American science fiction writer. See the next one. Which of the following is not the name for Odin group? Odin Generation, Odinesque, Therese Poet, then you have Max Pandey. So do select the right answer and then let us, I will show you. And do not forget to like the video or share with your friends or let us please do write your comment, to write your feedback so that, uh, so that let us, we can improve anything. Now see the next one, uh, sorry, uh, correct answer. So this is correct answer. It's Odinesque. She the correct answer let us. Odin group is also known as Odin Generation, or 30s Poet, or Mac Spondy. But let us, yes, Odin is, this is not a term it's used for Odin group. Let us, yes, on Odin group, so that was appeared in 1930s, and you have the major authors related to uh, this group. So, D. Lewis, Cecil D. Lewis, Liz McInnes, then W.H. Odin, Stephen Spanter, Christopher Esterwood. So, these all are associated with. Uh, let us, the term Mac Spondy was coined by who? So let us, this was coined by Roy Campbell. And he coined this particular term in his work, Talking Brand Co, 1946. So let us, these all are the uh, fact associated with WH Auden, then Auden Group or Auden Generation. Now see the next one. The Holy Quran text translation and commentary is an English translation the Quran by Indian Ismail Bogra Shia Muslim civil servant name. So you have Abdullah Yusuf Ali, Muhammad Akbar, Maulana Abul Allah Badudi, and then Shri Dr. Zafar Isaac Ansari. So out of these four, select the right one. See the correct answer on your screen. So let us, it's Abdullah Yusuf Ali. So yes, this is the correct answer you can see. Now see the next one. Black Backford William. William Backford or Backford William. He is an English writer. His outstanding work is known as Vathic, written in 1786 in language. So you have blank space. English language, French language, Russian language or German language. So do select the right answer and Please do write it on comment box. Please hurry up, brothers. So see the correct answer on choice screen. 
so here is the correct answer learners it's a french second one is the correct answer so let us vadik this is a gothic novel written by william wackford and let us yes this particular work was written in french language later on it was translated into english by samuel hinley samuel hinley he translated this particular book in english so let us yes the english version that was appeared in 1786 but french version that was appeared in 1782 so you must be remembering see the next one galthia is written by suspender so spencer herbert lily or sally so let us yes Edmund Spencer, George Herbert, John Lilly, or P. B. Shelley. So, who is who has written Galkia? So, let us please do select the right answer. See the correct answer on your screen. So, let us it's Lilly, John Lilly, one of university bits. Okay, so he has written a comedy named Galkia. Let us see. This is an Elizabethan comedy because. Uh, Lily belongs to Elizabethan time period, and let us yes, this was performed in front of Elizabeth first too. Which of the following statement is true? Browning's work is more original in content than that of Tennyson. Wordsworth was the older brother of Coleridge. Then Shelley was a pessimistic poet, and James Joyce received the Nobel Prize in 1933. So do select the right answer, please. Now see the correct answer on your screen. So let us. It's the first one. Browning's work is more original in content than that of Tennyson. Which of the following statement is true? Once more, you have the next one question based on the right one or true statement. So Fanny Burney was a poetess of the first rank. Wordsworth and Coleridge were always at daggerstone with each other. Keats died at the age of 50, or Mrs. Virginia Woolf committed suicide. So do select the right answer and do mention on comment box. See the correct answer. So let us hear the correct answer. So this is Mrs. Virginia Woolf committed suicide. So let us yes, this is true. Yes, this is 100% true. Mrs. Virginia Woolf committed suicide. Keats died at the age of 50. No. Wordsworth and Coleridge were always draggers drawn. No. Fanny Burney was poetess of first rank. No. Fanny Burney, novelist. Wordsworth and Coleridge, friends. Keats died at the age of 25. Learners. So this is what these all are the correct facts and incorrect learners. So I have deleted these all, and this is correct one because Mrs. Virginia Woolf committed suicide. So, uh, learners, yes, as eight of fifty-nine, Wolf committed suicide. So you must be remembering fifty-nine uh, eight at nineteen forty-one. This is the year, yes, and yes, suicide by drowning herself. Which of the following statement is true? So Goldsmith hated mankind. Horace Walpole is a historian of the second order. Then you have Crissa was Victorian novelist. And Dunn was the grandson of Spencer. So do select the right one, please. Now see the correct answer on your screen, learners. So which one is correct one? So Goldsmith hated mankind. So learners, yes, this is not true. Then see Horace Walpole is an historian of second order. Yeah, you can say because learners he is a history, uh, historical novelist. So that's why learners blended. Fact plus fiction, so that can be seen. So that's why he's second order, a uh, historian of second order. Krasa was a Victorian novelist. No, Krasa was one of metaphysical poets. Dunn was the grandson of Spencer. No, so let us say yes, this one is correct one. Okay, now see the uh, next one. So what is the meaning uh, in media res? Responsible media, race of media. Action in the mind, in the middle of the action. So let us. These all are the four options. Do select the right one, please. So here is the correct answer on your screen. In the middle of action, media res. So let us. That is a Latin word. And what does it mean? So let us. In midst of thing. 
Uh, learners, you can say a kind of abrupt opening, opening of the plot in the middle of the action so that, uh, uh, for example, you can see Paradise Lost. Of first disobedience and the fruit of that forbidden tweet that brought death into the world till one greater man restore us. So, learners, we don't know the story. So, what is uh, behind the story? But first of all, we are going to consider fall of man. So, learners, yes, media is that appears in Paradise Lost. In middle of the things. Gustave Flaubert was a French writer and well known for his first published novel. The Temptation of Saint Anthony and then see Madame Bavary. Then you have Sola Mango and then Memoirs of a Madman. So which one is the correct answer? Do select the right one. Please. So let us see the correct answer. It's Madame Bavary. Madame Bowery, so that was published as Provincial Manners. Well, this is also titled Madame Bowery, Provincial Manners. And this is the first novel by Gustave Lappert. Yeah, this is the first novel. You can see the story of Charles Bowery. A character is there, good-hearted but dull and unambitious doctor with a Morse practice and marries whom? So yes, he got married with Emma. A bad, beautiful girl from raised in a convent. So, let us yes, this is the story, a brief story of Madame Bowery. But let us yes, this is the debut novel, debut novel of Gustave Lambert. Now, see the next one. The Pierce Plowman is a series of visions seen by its author Langland. The vision of a field full of fog was the first vision that he shot. The poem is divided into 20 cantos, books, Cautious or regions. So do select the right one. See the correct answer on your screen. So let us, yes, the book is divided into passes. So let us, how many passes are there? So 20 passes are there and 8 regions are there on this particular book. Pierce Proudman, so let us, this was written during 1317 to 19. So this is the time period. And then Complete title of this particular book is William's Vision of Pierce Plowman. This is the complete title of this particular book. The work is a, a allegorical narrative poem by Langland and written in unrhymed alliterative verse and divided into sections that is known as pauses and then it's yes, step pauses. So that is that is another meaning of pauses is that is a step. So one step, another step. And see what you can see in this particular work on the vision consider uh, yes the vision of Pierce the plumber so you can see on this particular work the story uh, uh, that is going to deal with a kind of let us say yes, Christian and lead a true Christian life how to be true Christian and how to lead a life so that is the major part that has been discussed in this particular poem See the next one. A mixture of falsehood is like aloe in coin of gold and silver, which may make the mental work the better, but it embases it. So, let us you have these four options of truth, of revenge, of friendship, of study. So, let us out of these four options select right one. See the correct answer on Joy screen. Francis Bacon is known for his essay writing. And even Francis Bacon is known as the father of English essays. He has written a wonder, wonderful different different essays. All these essays are written by Francis Bacon of truth, of revenge, of friendship, and of studies. But then as these all the these all are the, are the part of this particular essay of truth. So yes, you can see. Uh, now I'm going to show you the next one. So see the next one question. So Oh, I'm really sorry learners, uh, this was the last question from my this particular test series. On my next test series, that will be the 17th test series, I'm coming with you with 15 questions and I will deal with you. One more thing, do not, uh, do not forget to subscribe my this YouTube channel and share with your friends so that uh, everyone can watch and enjoy these all videos. So if you are really interested, you can also join my paid classes at Unacademy, the learning application. Do not forget to install an academy learning application and enjoy my classes. Thank you so much. Have a great day.